how do you set the crossover frequency of a subwoofer? This question comes from Joseph in Lancaster, New York, and he writes, Hey, Paul, love your videos. Why, thank you, sir. Uh, I watch them all. God help you. <laughs> How do we know the best crossover point to set on our subwoofers? I know a lot of it is based on main speaker and the slope of the crossover. If you have speakers that are flat to 30 or 50 hertz in general, where would the ideal crossover point be? You know, well, first off, most speakers aren't flat to 30 hertz. Very, very few speakers ever attain that. And 50, yeah, maybe so. Um, my rule of thumb is to start at about 30 hertz. 30 hertz is a good, regardless of whether your uh, main speakers go down there or not, that's where you want to start, okay? So start at 30 hertz. Slopes are usually built into the crossovers. You don't have a whole lot of choice. Slopes being how quickly something rolls off, right? So if you have a single slope, which rarely you do, that's 6 dB per octave, and it just kind of gently rolls off. More often than not, you see a two-slope filter, which is 12 dB per octave, meaning that it goes flat, and then there's a 3 dB down point, and then for every octave below or above, as we're going up, um, it'll roll off at 12 dB. There's 24 dB per octave, 48 dB per octave, crazy stuff. But whatever slope you're using, I would start at 30 hertz. And now what you want to do is start playing music and start slowly ramping up the frequency until you hear the subwoofer distinct from the main speaker. Turn it back down. Because our goal is to have the main speaker sound as if it has bass. And that's the goal and the role of the subwoofer, to add and augment the bass of the main speaker. So start at 30, start turning it up uh, until you start hearing the subwoofer as a separate entity, turn it back down, go through a whole variety of music. We've got some great tracks. I don't know when this is going to publish, but if you're the audiophiles guide, which should be available on Amazon, and then the reference, the audiophiles reference disc, which is available at psaudio.com uh, on our, uh, just go to the music section and you'll find Octave Records. And there we have the Audiophiles reference disc. It has some great bass setting tracks on there. And then in the Audiophiles guide book, you can see how to set it up and all that. But that's basically what you're gonna wanna do, okay? All right, thanks for the question. Good luck with your sub. And remember, I don't wanna hear the sub. I wanna hear the main speaker have bass. Okay, take it easy. Thank you.